Hello everyone, I'm Colin Kinnett. Today we're going to look at some drilling tips and tricks uh, and I've also got a couple of housekeeping things I want to talk to you about as well. But let's start off by going over to the drill press. On one of the last videos I mentioned that I have these magnets that stick to the column of my drill press and that's where I hold the key for my chuck. So there's a bit of a close-up of those magnets that I use, but check this out. This is a little tiny magnet. Now you won't buy these at the dollar store. These are super high quality, really strong magnets. This one, it, you can see it's not even the size of a dime. and that's how thick it is. It's very thin. But check this out. It, when it sits on the column, even with the, my large drill press key, it will hold that on there. It's, it's amazing how strong these are. Now, these particular ones are some of the smaller ones. I purchased these from Lee Valley Tools. Oh, before I forget, one of the housekeeping items I wanted to talk about uh, is email. I get tons of email and some of you send me email. Some of you sent me two and three emails and when I respond to them, the message I get back is your email can't be found or isn't working. So if you're sending me emails and I'm not responding, it's because your email's not working. One of the things we find ourselves doing as woodworkers is cutting small pieces very often, um, drilling holes in small pieces for example, and especially if it's hardwood and a large bit like this, uh, when you're drilling that it can be very hard to hang on to, in fact sometimes impossible, uh, and very often you can hurt your hurt or even damage your fingers using that. And one of the things that I like to do, uh, I use these wood screws and they work super well. Um, you can lay them flat. I always have a piece of a backer board underneath anyway, um, and you can just tighten them down. And now you've got a nice big piece of uh, clamp, a nice big piece of wood and a clamp to hold on to so that when you're drilling, and you know what, if you want, if, if you think it's going to spin, you can even clamp this down to your table as well so that you're not even touching and that's even safer. And the other thing you can do is there's lots of different clamp variations around. You could even use one of these clamps. I like these clamps because they have such a, a wide area here. I can, I've got lots of leverage that I can hold this, but remember that clamping your piece down as much as you can is always the safest way to drill. Another thing that makes a big difference in drilling and, and particularly in the safety of drilling is having a fence and drill presses typically don't come with fences but we do all sorts of different things. Uh, I've used uh, a piece of wood, nothing wrong with using a piece of wood and a C-clamp and fiddling around with it. Um, then I discovered that using these quick release clamps work just as well and it's a lot quicker but you know what? I also discovered recently that if you've ever seen these magnetic switches, um, these things are absolutely amazing. And now I can set a fence anywhere I need. And you know a fence on a drill press can be anywhere, just like a router table, because this is spinning so it doesn't matter. It's not like a circular saw or a, a miter saw or table saw. It doesn't matter. The fence can be wherever it works for you. And what you do is you just twist these things and it locks this down. And my table's moving around, but this fence is not moving. Now what these are, if you haven't seen these, these are called mag switches. And they're basically magnets. And when you twist them, when you turn them like this, it drives the magnet down down inside this uh, mechanism and it locks it to a steel base. So there it is there and you cannot lift this off of here and it's very very difficult to even move it. But here's a trick that I learned about these. When I first purchased these and locked them down, you could move them from side to side. But what I've done with them, I've actually used some double-sided tape and some of that anti-skid material, and I just put that on there very, very thin, about the size of a 50-cent piece on there. 
And now when they lock down, they do not move. They are super rigid. And I use these, you just basically cut oval holes like this and there's screws and screw holes in these so you can see them there. You can actually screw them to the wood if you want, but you don't need to because they lock down. And the way you determine, now this is a, these particular ones are three quarters of an inch. You see that thickness? And the way you find out if they work is if your wood fits underneath, there's a little tiny bit of movement there and that doesn't matter. Um, but what's, in, what's imp important that these fit firmly on the steel base so you can lock them in like this, set that up like that. And now I have a drilling fence or a dr drill press fence that I can move around and adjust and lock down like that. Just a super way of making a quick fence for your drill press. Well, and now the, the second part of the housekeeping I wanted to talk about. I know a lot of people haven't seen these, don't know about these. They're called mag switches. And of course, the details of these will be in the article on Woodwork Web and the link is in the description box underneath. But even more than that, uh, for those of you who don't know, I do have an affiliate store on Amazon.com, Woodwork Web uh, affiliate store. And it's wonderful if people purchase things from there. Uh, it's, it's helpful to me. But the other big thing is don't forget that you can use it as a reference because people will email me and ask me what products I use for this or that. Uh, and I will try and list as many of the things that I use. So if you don't know, rather than emailing me, because you'll get a quicker, <laughs> a lot quicker answer going to my uh, Amazon store, you can actually go there and reference it. Purchase it there if you like or wherever you want, um, but at least you have the reference of what it is that you're looking for and a quick answer than waiting for me for three or four days to get back to you. Right, let's move along now. Well, we're not quite finished with fences on drill press tables. Uh, and you, what this is, you, many of you will recognize this. This is just a piece of steel angle iron. You can get aluminum and you can get all sorts of different sizes. Like any other fence, like I showed you the wood fence, you still need to clamp this down. Now, because it's so thin, you can, depending on what it is that you might be clamping, you have a much closer area here to clamp something on. So sometimes you need to clamp this way, not just this way. Now I know not everybody has a drill press and you know sometimes we still need to drill uh, straight vertical holes and I used this for years and years before I got a drill press. You just get a couple of pieces of scrap piece of wood together. Um, it's nice to drill at least a starter hole. I haven't done that here. But basically all you do is line up your drill bit and you know you can get a very, very good hole just by lining it up. Well, that concludes my video for today. I, I hope there's some ideas there that'll help you next time you're doing some, uh, using your drill press or your portable drill or your quarter drill and uh, need to make some more precision holes. I'm Colin Kinnett for Woodwork Web. Thanks for watching.